Welcome, Jason. Dreamcatchers, it's it's over. It's uh, we've had a full day. I heard something very interesting in this in this this conference that I hadn't heard before. I was mm -hmm. hoping you could walk me through it. Internet Plus. Right. What is it? Well, Internet Plus is a. I don't think the concept is new, but it mm -hmm. was a term coined recently by our leaders in China, and it's becoming a talking point, a talk of the town, you know, concept now. Basically, the idea is to combine traditional industry with internet technologies. Mm. So we have the BAT, the Baidu, Alibaba, and Tencent of the world, which are mostly you know, just virtual, just the internet world. And the next wave, a huge wave, bigger than the internet wave, is to get into the internet of things, you know, uh, mm. uh, even advanced materials, uh, putting internet and technologies into traditional industries, right? Mm. So there are a lot of opportunities in China, tipping point of technologies that get Get you know get get the traditional industry ahead. Yeah. Um, we're looking at you know uh, automotive industry, manufacturing, mm -hmm. uh, medicine, education. All mm -hmm. of these are classified under Internet Plus. Okay. Um, I think the implications for Hong Kong is huge as well. Uh, Hong Kong has been very entrepreneurial since the 50s. 50s to 80s, we s we saw the first and the second generations of entrepreneurs mm -hmm. who built wonderful manufacturing based. Uh, businesses and become the OEMs of the world and slowly they move their factories to China and so on and so forth but these industrialists are still around or their third fourth generations are now thriving mm. what they are doing is they are investing in technologies like the ERPs the CRMs to improve to improve qualities increase quantities and to um, reduce costs yeah. but that era is more or less done yeah. Now, what they realize now is they really have to make use of technology, and that's where Internet Plus come in, mm. right? Let's say if you are the world's biggest maker of uh, weight or clock or watch, right? Now you're talking about, you know, how do you put technologies into watch that mm. it becomes an interactive piece of device, smartwatch, mm. right? How do you keep track of bio uh, metrics rather than just telling time? Right. You know, I got to ask a question about this, though, because when we, when we saw the introduction of mobile, we thought marketing would be much easier to do, right? We can get the word out to more people. It's easy to consume. It's very intimate. Yeah. Right? You've seen this yourself with cherry picks, right? Yeah. But when you get into this biometrics and you get into bio augmentation and whatnot, does marketing kind of disappear? Because, because the provider knows so much about the person wearing the device. I'm just wondering, where's the message there? Where's the sales? It's going to take another form. Yeah. I think a lot of these traditional advertising, which is a one-way or a display-oriented uh, 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 marketing, is going to reduce or mm. it's going to be transformed into more user experience base. For example, marketing won't be as straightforward giving you a display message or popping up with mm. something that tells you, you know, what is good for you. Rather, it would be a user experience about using the data that we or they know about you yeah. and putting into something that is suggestive and that is useful and relevant for you. Right. Now, we're not there yet. Yeah. And privacy is, a, is an issue uh, together with people's mentality. But not too long ago, about 10, 15 years ago, we were very afraid of making purchase online. Sure. Now, I don't know how many purchases I make per day, including buying stocks, books, even, you know, music, whatnot. Even automatically. Even transactions Absolutely. you've forgotten about because it's, it's part of your regular... And cycle. I don't know how many credit cards and PayPal yeah. accounts and all these that I've put online, yeah. right? So, so I think uh, convenience is something that won't, you know, we won't be able to come, come, you know, look back on. So then, I guess a final question for you then is if, if Hong Kong was sort of the OEMs of the world, Right, and was sort of like the middlemans of, of all these huge industrial practices. Who are going to be the new middleman in this mobile era, in this internet plus era? Like, mm. and, then, and then maybe if I can ask an extension of that, if I'm a developer or a programmer, or I'm trying to join a startup that's, that's doing this kind of stuff, what are the kinds of things that I need to be mindful of if I'm trying to build that industry? Mm. I know it's a very broad question, but I feel like this is sort of the linchpin of how Hong Kong is going to go forward. Yeah, it was very interesting. One thing that Pony Ma said in his speech mm. was mm. Um, when there are two industries uh, being looked at and put together, if you are the guy who know both industry, then there's a higher chance or you have a unique advantage. You know, Pony was talking about himself, of course, you know, uh, he knows the telecom industry. 
and the internet very well. Now, at the time when he was starting his business, telecom people doesn't know internet or trying to fight it. And the internet people are really fresh, new, and they don't know, they, they call telecoms more tr traditional. Mm. He knows both, right? Right now, we see this kind of opportunities everywhere because of internet plus. We have traditional industry because of cloud, mobile, advanced material, and big data, and all these new technologies make it possible that internet and these traditional industry is now ready. They are now ready to be combined. Mm. So if I were a programmer, if I were the industrialist, I would actively find interdisciplinary or anti-disciplinary resources so that I get to a team where the team understand both sides. Right. Yeah. Now, understanding both doesn't mean that they can combine it effectively, but you know, all th that's where creativity, innovation comes into place. But whoever get there first, the reward could be very handsome. Oh yeah, and this would be really interesting because we are in a sort of mobile-centric part of the world, and that yeah. would be great. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Great to listen Thanks to you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you.